we all love a bit of country blues, right? And today I've got my A harmonica and I want to show you a concept you can use for a two bar riff. And I'm hoping you can use this and improvise and make something creative out of it. If you're brand new to country blues, do take a look at this video with some basic country blues right here somewhere. So we're going to look at a two bar riff that we can use alongside our groove and it would be typical of the kind of thing Sonny Terry would play. But I want to get into the rhythmic concept. If we find the pulse, count into four, which is here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four beats to a bar. If we take two bars, which would be this. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. That's two bars. That would be eight beats. But if we divide that eight, three, three, and two, we can get this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Here it is again. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And I'll continue that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. So how do you know that's groups of threes and groups of twos? Because we're accenting, so we've got a sort one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. If I was to speed that up, just have a listen to this rhythm. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one. As I get faster. It's that ubiquitous rhythm, which forms part of what we call the clave rhythm, which is all over Latin music and African music and all over the world. It's traveled everywhere. Imagine a bass line. Boom, 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 boom. It's just that rhythm. But if we slow it down, we actually get, if we want to be mathematical about it, we get one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. OK, we're going to slow it down and I want to further subdivide this now. And this is going to get us our nice, tasty country blues lick. OK, so instead of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, I'm going to subdivide into eighth notes for some of them. So I get this one and two and three. One and two and three. And then our two at the end. You can either count it out loud or just listen and clap. I would do both. Vocalizing rhythms is very good for your rhythm. It also helps you to relax because there's a saying when our jaws engaged, that our whole body relaxes. And there is a certain truth in that, I think. So we've got one and two and three. One and two and three. One, two. One and two and three. One and two and three. One, two. So what we get, what makes this really cool is we've got this grouping of three, repetitive three, but it crosses the bar line. One and two and three, one and two and three, one, two, one and two. And three. So once you've got that, let's take it slow, really get that ry rhythm in your head. And here's our lick. This lick is one of many licks from my country blues course. So do click the link below if you're interested in that. So let's try that with the backing track. First, we find the pulse. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two threes and a two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. I'm going to subdivide now. Here we go. One and two and three. One and two and three, one, two, one and two and three, one and two and three, one, two. Let's try that with the old harpsichord. Here we go. Oh yeah. Let's speed it up. Do 
give me the thumbs up below if you like the video and if you haven't already please subscribe that helps me out a lot thank you so much now if you know the harmonica barge you'll know that we like to get creative with our riffs and do something different so let's take that rhythm one and two and three one and two and three one two and play it somewhere else how about two draw full step one draw two blow two draw gives us a nice one and two and three and we'll answer it with our two beats with a blow chord and a draw chord so that whole thing and why not try it full speed Thanks everybody, I hope this was useful. I really recommend trying this 3-3-2 pattern in your playing. It seems like such a simple idea, but once you start changing up the riffs and the subdivisions, adding different holes and bends, and you can come up with some really cool stuff. And of course, if you're interested in more country blues, I have a two hour course, which is packed full of grooves, licks, there's a whole arrangement, three backing tracks and tabs. Do click the link below for that. And I'll see you for another video very soon. Bye bye.